Hello, welcome to Chimp Developer Reality Theory. Here's why the works of Toby Fox, Rebecca Sugar, Bennett Foddy, Siobhan Reddy, Will Wright, Davy Reedon, and of course me, Riley Glitch, will save the world and we will soon team up to create the ultimate piece of media. So first I must introduce the concept of the hexagon. This is the pattern that came to me in my many visions as a cryptic message foreshadowing the hidden connection between me and the other creators in the collective unconscious mind of the machine of our civilization. Why a hexagon? If you watch Chicken Little 2004, you can see that the aliens got the hexagons. I'll show you what I've since gathered and break down each archetype in the corresponding work. In the middle, we have the Overseer God archetype, which corresponds to Will Wright's works such as Sim, Spore, and soon-to-be-released Proxy. These are God games that provide a broad overview of life, the universe, everything. Notice how his last name is Wright, which means maker, like to play right. There is no such thing as a coincidence. Next, we have t the tough lover for getting over it with Bennett Foddy. He provides the gritty, painful experience of overcoming a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. This was the first archetype to contact me in the form of badass alligator man, who said, I know you'll make it, kid, before sending me into the scene where the astral gods, which are the proxies of the seven creators, and they argued about whether or not I was ready. Remember the word ready, you'll need it later. Oh yeah, and his name is Foddy. Next, we come to getting over its antipode, Steven Universe, the soft lover archetype. Rebecca Sugar's work embodies this. This show has themes of compassion, empathy, peace, and love on the planet Earth. In this work's theme song, they foreshadow the hexagon, since the seven us of us are really just adorable aliens that will always save the day, and if you think we can't, we'll always find a way. And their last name is Sugar. Self-explanatory, really. Their work is sweet. They're represented by a lovely candy entity made out of syrup. And compassion. So now we arrive at Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet. Chauvin Reddy's last name is a message about whether or not I or anyone else is ready. And keep in mind, anyone else is ready to join the Orb of Dreamers. The vision with the proxies repeating not ready was referring to the fact that I hadn't made any creative works yet, so I was not ready to join the Orb of Dreamers. This all implies that saving the world is a giant collaborative creative project which requires participation from everyone's hopes and dreams. It's a giant collaborative creative project. The seven of us are merely the messengers who inject our creative juices into the collective unconscious to stimulate everyone's creativity. Oh yeah, and her game's got the level editor inviting the player to participate in the joy of creation. She's represented by this plant since the natural world is the ultimate sandbox for creating anything you can imagine. And imagine we have. Now let's discuss... Now let's... Now... Now let's discuss its antipode, the Stanley Parable. Davy Reedon's games are the total opposite of having a level editor, editor. You follow strict paths that were set at the beginning with no room for creativity, but they're genius not in spite of this, but because of this. He guides the player on a dazzling adventure he meticulously designed, and his last name is kind of like reading, like reading the narrative, the plot. The, this archetype is represented by a rectangly guy because it's like artificial, he's like computer and stuff. Now we arrive at Undertale and Deltarune by Toby Fox for the Dark Light Trickster. These games trick the player many times and the fox famously represents the trickster archetype. These games embody the sequence of seeming light on the surface but secretly having dark underneath. And this is the archetype that's my antipode. So let's, so there's is there's that brings us to me riley glitch the dark light trickster my games are dark on the surface but light underneath so i'm deeply intertwined with tony fox the name of the hallucinatory proxy proxy of toby fox my games are also like glitchy and stuff now this is when things get epic for me my life is like a video game like an anime i'm that's what i'm trying to Get across here. Okay, so Toby Fox wrote Spamton, unconsciously creating a proxy of me. I'm Spamton. I relate to Spamton. I have a Spamton tattoo. This is the call across the static that he unconsciously made directed towards me. So, like, I'm going to become, like, a big shot like Spamton because my trashy is gaster theory is canon, and I will have become big Neo uh, because of gaster, just like Spamton. 
That's when I'll drop my magnum opus, Timlet's Household, and I'll literally get so- That's when the circus comes to town. It's when the garbage noise will happen. Also, I found a hexagon-shaped piece of confetti next to the word prophecy on my copy of Good Omens. So yeah, in conclusion, the hexagon of archetypes is a real thing that will reson acro resonate across the minds of the masses, inspiring everyone. This is what I've concluded based on years of decrypting...